Hey everybody, I'm Kate from Kate Creates, and I'm here today to show you how to upcycle coffee cans using OnlineLabels.com gorgeous labels to organize your kitchen. Things we're going to need today are three different sized coffee cans. If you want a complete set, I will be showing you how to decorate the small one. You need to print out these labels from OnlineLabels.com. They're three and a half by one and three quarter inch um, decorative labels. You can find them in their special labels section. You're going to need acrylic paint. You're going to need chalkboard paint, two sponge brushes, and chalk for when we're done. Step one is we're going to paint our labels with chalkboard paint so that they're ready when we're done painting our jar. Now we're going to set these aside and let them dry while we start painting our coffee can. So first things first is you want to make sure you're using an empty coffee can, so just make sure it's all cleaned out. Leave the lid off, it'll make it a lot easier to paint your coffee can. I'm not going to be painting the inside today, but if you want to keep a fresh, clean look going all throughout the coffee can, feel free to do so. Quick tip, after you've put a few layers on and you've got most of it covered up, go ahead and set it aside to dry for just a few minutes. Um, it'll make it easier to put your final layers on and do all your extra touch-ups. Now that our coffee can is all dry and painted and gorgeous, it's time to put a label on it. So go ahead and grab your sheet of labels. As soon as the paint is dry, you can go ahead and peel one off. You should be able to still find your edges. Gorgeous. Now it's all ready for you to just write on it, write in chalk, whatever you're going to keep inside. My advice to you on how to finish this off is before you put a label on it, if you want a glossier look to it, go ahead and apply a all-purpose sealer on top. I have a video on that in the Kate Creates channel. If you go over, it's called Kate Creates Custom Coffee Mugs and I show you how to apply an acrylic sealer on top of acrylic paint. That just sort of keeps it from chipping, um, a little extra step. If you like the matte finish and you're not afraid of chipping the paint, then this is good to go. You're all done. All you have to do is write on it. I have flour in this one, I have sugar in this one, I'm going to put brown sugar in this one. People use less of that. Or you could put powdered sugar in it, or baking soda, cornstarch. You could keep K-cups in it if you want to get real fancy. Just going to write brown sugar on this. Alright, there we go. I have a jar fully labeled as brown sugar and a new place to put all of my baking ingredients. So this is just an awesome cute way to organize your kitchen, put a little bit of a personal touch on your kitchen space, and a great way to upcycle your used coffee cans. I know my grandma keeps a lot of used coffee cans and so do some people I know at work. Instead of sending them off to go to a landfill or, you know, use energy at a recycling plant, why not upcycle them instead of purchasing something at the store? Another way to use them as organizers could be like K-cups, tea, and sugar, sweetener or something, you know? Um, just make your space your own. You could even take this into... Thanks, Tori. You could even, you know, paint it a different, more manly color and put it in your husband, boyfriend, father's workspace. Nails and screws and bolts or something. You could use these in your kids' rooms. You could use them wherever you want. It's an excellent way to be good for the environment while being awesome and crafty all on your own. So thank you for joining me today on OnlineLabels.com channel. Don't forget to go check out my channel, Kate Creates, where all the craftology happens. You could give this channel a subscribe, give this video a like because you did. Comment on it and let them know what you'd like to see me craft next using labels. You can go to my channel and subscribe, like, and comment all over that page as well. That'd be really awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!